So a new multi-streaming plugin for OBS just came out yesterday. It's called Atom Multi-Stream. It's made by the same people that made Atom Vertical. And this is the new standard for multi-streaming going forward. If you're looking to stream on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all at the same time, this is gonna be the way that you wanna do it. Even TikTok, assuming TikTok stops being assholes and lets us have stream keys. This plugin adds a new dock to OBS where you can add all your different accounts for all your different platforms. And you just pick the ones you wanna go live on and you're you're done. You can even stream to different platforms at completely different quality settings. So if you want to stream on YouTube at 4K, but 720p for Twitch, you'll be able to do that. Which also means you can send different audio tracks to different platforms. So let's just say you want to play copyrighted music on Twitch because nobody gets in trouble for that, right? But you don't want that music to go out to YouTube because their copyright system is a lot more aggressive. That's also possible here, except I don't endorse that. Warner Bros, put your lawyers away. Now, this isn't a service like Restream.io where you need to send your stream to a middleman server and then they just mirror your stream to your selected platforms. This plugin sends your stream directly to each platform. So you will need to have a faster internet connection, which is why I just upgraded my internet 30 minutes ago and I'm waiting for them to switch me over. Fuck you, Telstra. I'm going with Superloop now. But as long as your connection is fast enough, you can stream to like five Twitch accounts, six YouTube accounts, three TikTok accounts. The only limitation will be how fast your internet is. And because this isn't a service, you don't have to pay a single cent for this. This is completely free. So let me show you how to set this plugin up. And then later we'll talk about some exciting new changes that may be coming to Twitch going forward. But first, thank you once again, VIP SD Keys for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you need a Windows 11 license, you can get them for as low as $21. Just make sure to use my code Nutty at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to save a little bit more money, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15 and just upgrade that to Windows 11 for free or don't, I, I'm not, I don't care. Make sure to use a secure payment method like PayPal at checkout. They'll send you an activation code and then you can just put that in your Windows settings and then you're you're good to go. Check out VIP SCD keys in the link down below and get rid of that cringe watermark. Okay, so to start, just search for Atom Multistream on Google. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get it. It's just a simple installer, super straightforward to install. Once you do, restart OBS and then you should see a new dock. If you don't see this dock here, just click on docs and select A to multi-stream. This is where you're gonna start your stream for your different platforms. And by default, you'll see one that says built in. And then if you have the Atom vertical plugin, you might also see a second entry that says vertical stream or something. But before you go crazy and start adding like 14 YouTube streams, you still need to set up your base stream. So you just do it the same way that you normally do within OBS. So go to your normal OBS settings into the stream tab and set up your stream with any account that you want. It could either be a Twitch stream, a YouTube stream, Facebook, whatever you want it to be. I highly recommend connecting your Twitch account here as your main streaming platform. You'll see why in a second. But once you've connected your first account and set up all your encoder settings, then you can go ahead and add your YouTube account or all the other platforms that don't matter. So just head to the Atom multi-stream settings and click on main outputs. This is where you're gonna add all your other platforms. So if Twitch is your main account, here's where you'll add your YouTube account and then put your stream key in here. Now there's a link right there that takes you directly to where you can get your stream key. For YouTube, this is your stream key. So this is what you want to copy, but keep in mind, YouTube is a little bit weird. You can actually have multiple stream keys. So make sure that the one that you copy is your default one. Paste that back in A to multi-stream and boom, you're done. I've been informed by people that I like to say boom a lot. I need to think of something else to say. Now, before you go ham and start streaming on like a million platforms, a couple things you should know. If you try to go live on your second platform without first going live on the built-in platform, you're gonna get this error. And the reason for that is by default, your second platform just piggybacks off your built-in platform. So in my case, my YouTube stream is gonna be exactly the same as my Twitch stream. Exactly the same quality, same audio, it's just going out to YouTube instead of Twitch. But my YouTube stream can't piggyback off my Twitch stream because there is no Twitch stream until I actually start streaming on Twitch. So your first built-in platform always has to be started first. Now there is a way around that. If you go into the advanced settings of your YouTube stream, you see where it says main encoder? 
This is the setting that tells OBS to piggyback off your built-in stream, or in my case, my Twitch stream. But you can change this. You can use entirely different settings here. So for example, if I choose NVENC and set up all my settings here, what this does is it tells Atem, hey, I don't want to piggyback off my Twitch stream anymore. I want to make an entirely separate stream just for YouTube. Keep in mind, this will spin up a second encoding for your stream, so it will be using more resources on your PC. But if you have access to NVENC, it really shouldn't be a big deal. But just know that using anything other than the main encoder will use more resources. But the advantage of doing it this way is you can send a way higher quality stream to YouTube than you can to Twitch. Twitch capture bitrate at like 8,000 kilobits per second, but if you want to stream at like 40,000 kilobits per second just to YouTube, you can do that here. Now if you go live, you will still get the same error. And that's because you have to do the same thing for your audio. So if you come into the audio tab, that also says main encoder. So it's still piggybacking the audio of your Twitch stream. So you will need to change this too if you wanna go live completely independently of your Twitch stream. Speaking of audio, remember at the start when I said you can send different audio tracks to different platforms? In case you guys didn't know, in OBS you can have up to six different audio tracks. So you can split up all your audio, your microphone, your game audio, your music, and put them all onto different tracks and then send those tracks to individual platforms. Platforms. You just do all that through the advanced audio properties menu. Well, this is why I recommend using Twitch as your main streaming platform. In your OBS settings, if you stream to Twitch, you will have a separate option that allows you to set a VOD track. And this is an entirely separate audio track that just gets saved to your Twitch VOD. So when you're done streaming and you look back at your past streams, it won't have any of the music there. Atom Multistream does not have this setting. So if you add Twitch as your second secondary platform, you can only choose one audio track. There is no VOD track option. But if you did want to split up your audio to different platforms, this is how you do it. So here I've got my mic audio, my game audio, and my music audio. In case you didn't know, OBS has a built-in feature that allows you to separate all your audio for your different programs. If you right-click, add an application audio output capture, you can just choose the programs that you want. And then in the advanced audio properties, I just tell OBS where to send all that audio. So I've set up track one to have everything. So microphone, game, and music. I just check the one next to all of them. But for track two, I leave out my music. So the second track is gonna be what I want to use as my VOD track and for my YouTube audio, since YouTube's copyright is cringe. So as long as I set my audio to track two for my YouTube stream, and then also my VOD track to track two, then none of my music is gonna make it to YouTube or the VOD track on Twitch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You just click go live to the platforms you wanna stream to, and you're, that's it. That's, that's, all, that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to stream to a vertical platform like TikTok or YouTube Shorts, yes, you can stream to YouTube Shorts now. And you can even do that like simultaneously with your, like, your horizontal stream. I have a whole video explaining how to do that. You probably already have the Atom vertical plugin as well. I'm not gonna cover how to do that because there's a video for that too. But Atom Multistream works just the same for vertical streams as well. So in your Atom vertical settings, there's a separate section dedicated just to vertical streams. And you just go in and add your stream key exactly the same as before. One thing to note about YouTube is if you're gonna stream in both vertical and horizontal formats at the same time, you need to actually create a new YouTube stream in your dashboard before every single stream. The default stream key will automatically create a new stream for you, so you don't need to worry about that one, but every second subsequent stream after that, you need to manually create a new stream, which is super, super annoying. So I recommend keeping a doc of your YouTube dashboard in OBS because you're gonna need to access this before you start up every single stream. Make sure you create a new stream key here and call it vertical. This is what you're gonna wanna put into your Atom vertical settings, but you only need to do that once. You don't need to create that every single time. Again, I go into more detail in my Atom vertical video, so if you're confused about how that setup process works, just go and watch that video. 
and then subscribe because I've got like tons of videos about streaming and I literally don't do anything else in my life. Speaking of vertical streaming, something very exciting seems to be happening at Twitch. It seems like they're planning to support vertical streams soon. So hopefully you'll be able to stream in both vertical and horizontal formats at the same time. But the difference is, you know how YouTube, it just creates two separate streams with two separate chats and it's really annoying. Twitch's version looks like it's gonna work more like it does on TikTok. So in TikTok, when you're watching a stream in vertical, but you click full screen, it goes into a completely different horizontal layout. Exeldro has already hacked into Twitch's enhanced broadcasting feature. Twitch is doing this thing where you can send multiple copies of your stream at different resolutions so that your viewers can like watch your stream even when they have slow internet. And they're supposed to be the same video stream, just at different resolutions, but Exeldro found a way to like inject an entirely different video stream to those different resolution slots. So when you click on one of those resolution options, instead of just changing the quality, it actually switches to that vertical layout. And when this becomes an official feature on Twitch, Atom Vertical will already support it. They left this little teaser on their Twitter where you can see it says Twitch Vertical. So we just have to see what Twitch has up their sleeves. Very, very exciting stuff happening. Guys, if you are just getting into vertical streaming and you're looking for ways to make your vertical stream look really cool, ultra pogger, super high production value, I've got a full video on that up here as well. You know how when you like play games and all the UI gets like cut off on the sides, like your health bar and your stats and stuff? Yeah, that video explains how to like move them in into like the center of your stream so you know your vertical viewers can see it i don't know it seems like nobody knows that i've already made that video so if you want to watch that you can click in it right there and if you don't want to click in it have a nice day